Welcome back to my channel, it's Honey is Natural. This is the same day as the other two videos that you may have just seen me upload. Um, I like this backdrop, Happy Halloween. Those are not real spiders. Um, yeah, and I really like the front drop, which is the bag that I obsessed over for probably three years. I watched this video over and over again. I have it in black. I got it in black because of work, but I really, really wanted the natural. This is Dooney Burke Florentine Leather Buckley Bag in Natural. I don't have to think about the name of it because I obsessed over it for years. Um, let me tell you why I obsessed over this bag. Because if you like the smell of Florentine, well, you get that with everything. But if you like the feel of it and the look of the pleats and the leather, this is a really good bag for you. Not yet. Wait till this one's over. Because you get a chance to touch the leather a lot more and hear it and see it bunched up and do the different things with the highs and lows that it does on this bag because of the drawstring feature. You're forced to touch it. You're forced to do a lot with it because of the way you get in and out of the bag. I've had this bag for about a month. I carried it for three weeks straight. One of um, my fellow doing nieces, I believe it was says, what I believe? Oh, I'm not sure exactly. I'm, it was no, it wasn't says what it was. Uh, but shout out to says what I love your channel. Oh, I can't remember her name. Oh, I gotta go back. She knows who she is because I'm, I'm getting ready to say what she suggested. Forgive me for not remembering. But my problem with my Dooney and Burke bags was that I don't love each one of them enough, and then I just end up buying more because I'm still obsessed with them. So she suggested that. I carry the bag. I suggest that I carry, start carrying my bags for two, three weeks at a time. I did carry this one for three weeks. I carried it right out of the box for three weeks. She suggested that when I get a bag, I should carry it right away for the two or three weeks because I'm so I'm most excited about every bag in my collection. Well, I'm most excited about the bag that I recently got out of everything in my collection. So the best way to appreciate the bag is when you're most excited about it. And, and you're gonna not you're not gonna put it down you're not gonna change out of it because you're so excited about it because it's brand new so that's what she suggested I carry this bag for three weeks has a beautiful patina on it already um, and I was so scared that I was gonna just get spots on it I was babying it but what I decided to do was oh yeah we'll do yours in a minute but you gotta plug it in because it needs to be charged I was most excited about um, that's not where I was at what I was, um, what I did to protect it was right away. I got they sell it at the tennis shoe store. You can get it anywhere. A leather protectant. You go outside. You spray a coat on it. You let it dry for a minute. You spray another coat. I did three coats of it, and it's a leather protector. Um, and then it's not gonna, it's gonna resist those spots as much. So even if it does get spots, um, they go away a little bit quicker, or just the the water droplet will sit on the top and then brush right off if you get the protectant. So I did that, and then I also learned. That if you do condition it when you get it, or just for me, I didn't condition it because I like to break them in on their own. I, I rubbed it a lot. I touched it a lot. I just kind of carried it right away, and it got a patina quickly. And what the patina does is the natural patina itself is also a protectant because if you touch it all over and the patina is all over, it's less likely to show wear or show dark spots because you touched the whole thing all over so i did get a little bit of dirt on the back back here but you can't see it as much because of the natural patina that is the best way to get that patina is to wear it right when you get it if it sits in your closet um for a couple months when you get it it might i don't know what it's going to do it's going to change color but it's not going to be the shiny patina my suggestion for natural bags either condition it definitely put the protectant on it and or condition it as well or just use it right out of the box and it's less likely going to have spots on it. I mean, I carried this, guys. I took it to a concert. I took it to a comedy show. I carried the doctor's office. I carried it day in and day out. Did not baby it by week two and you can't see any spots on it except for that beautiful, beautiful patina. So anyway, I just wanted to share with you guys um, this bag. I got it from the outlets. Amazingly, I got it for $160 and I have... Um, Joshi to thank for that because he put it, he said that on one of his uh, um, videos that he did. And he was actually doing a live video and somebody was putting it on there that they had the natural one. The person that did that was actually the, 
the same person that suggested I carry the bag right out the box. I just got to remember her name. She's so awesome. Um, the lady, I forgot her name, but she's the one who gets bags from Macy's all the time. She has so many beautiful bags. She's obsessed with, I think she's obsessed with Florentine Natural as well. I just got to remember her name. I'm a new subscriber to her. That's why I can't remember her name. But she must have typed in while Joshy was um, doing his live video that this bag was at the outlet for $160. I posted it on Facebook. Um, if you guys are looking for it, go get it. Only the one in Las Vegas was giving people the deal. A lot of the other stores were saying, we don't do that. We can't order them from the warehouse. It was really weird to me. So uh, two girls that I know of for sure called the one in Vegas and they told them my name and, and got the bag, ended up getting it. So I was glad that I was able to help two people because I've been looking for this bag for so long and it's been really hard to find for anything less than $300. I paid $160 for this bag and I even bought two because I wanted to share my joy with someone and ended up selling it. I had to at least get what I paid for it. So I got what I paid for it. Um, plus my troubles, uh, I just charged her $200. Is that shady, you guys? I don't think it's shady. But I charged her $200 and I even told her, like, I bought two because I just feel like I can't let this pass me by. So I got, and I told her, I said, I had to get what I paid for it plus a little bit more just because, you know, you got to do something for yourself. But I didn't want to overcharge. So I only, I only put her on there for two twenty, and I ended up getting 200 for it. And she was happy. I was happy. And um, I don't know if they still have it. But, um, right now, I have it, and I'm so happy, because this doesn't have any pebbling on it, and it is beautiful. So, I just wanted to share with you guys my natural buckwheat. Um, it is a very heavy bag, it's very thick, it's very good quality. This one I did not buy for show. It's actually a little bit, in my opinion, mature for my age. Well, I'm not young, but it's mature for me and my style, typically. Um, but it's not about other people. This one is about, I didn't even buy it for the look. I bought it for the feel and I get to touch it all the time. And it's just, I almost want to change into it now. I love this bag. This was my unicorn bag. My other unicorn bag, if you're listening, anyone is a small satchel in the color violet or lavender. I am dying for that bag in the Florentines. So anyway, I just wanted to share with you guys this beautiful bag. Thanks for tuning in. Love you guys. Bye.